Just a few months ago, Akskin Pan was flooded, but it dried up, leaving a more compact racing surface. But there are concerns. We've looked at the area where the causeway crosses the pan, and there's quite a lot of fluffy uh, uh, deposits there and some stones, so that'll need to be removed. There's also a couple of areas where there are patches of stones, which again will have to be removed by hand. And then there's uh, an area of uh, a ridge at around about the 16 kilometer point, which again needs some quite serious work uh, to make the track complete. More than 300 community members picked up tons of stones in previous years in preparation for the record attempt. The October testing means jobs for this community. I'm very excited about it because we're waiting a long time for it now. Our main problem here in this area, work. There are a lot of us just we're going to school, finish matric and we don't still don't have work. So maybe it's gonna release us from that. Actually, I'm very excited about it. There, because there will be more job opportunities. The Bloodhound Supersonic car has already achieved 320 kilometers per hour during testing in the UK. The Axkian Pan test in October will see the car attempting 800 km per hour speeds, which will give engineers access to massive amounts of aerodynamic data to make the car even faster. The record attempt is expected to take place in late 2020. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Axkian Pan, Northern Cape.